So yeah, we're supposed to go snowshoeing today, but we kind of got a snowstorm happening now. Plus beforehand it was overcast, so I wouldn't have made it for a fun day. So I'm going to go run some errands with my car. I need to head to the car wash. I know it's kind of pointless, but I need to wash the salt off of it because I'm going in for surgery in a couple days and I probably won't be able to drive the car for a while, so I don't want it to sit the way it is. Well, I'm all ready for my surgery. I got my tape for the bandages. Some maxi pads and some Epsom salts. Yes, maxi pads. Apparently, they work a hell of a lot better than bandages. That's what the nurse told me. We're gonna find out. Well, it's another great day today, followed by snow. Solar power would not work too well here in the winter time. That's for sure. Well, I just got out of surgery a couple hours ago, and I came home to all these parcels. Surgery seemed to go okay. But I'm still kind of numbed up, so let's go see what's inside these parcels and see what we're going to get up to since I'm going to be healing for four to six weeks. Okay, so we got a Tesla coil in this box. We got the robot arm in this box. This is the new engine block for the Honda pump. And there's something special in there, but we're going to show that at a much later date. But all these projects are right here will be going up on my other channel. So if you guys watch the other channel, stay tuned for those. Well, today is day three of post-surgery. I'm just heading out, run some errands. I really need, I know it sounds kind of funny and bizarre, but I need to go pick up some more maxi pads. Uh, maxi pads, believe it or not, actually absorb a lot more crap than what gauze pads do and they're way cheaper, so save on money. I just cut them up, just use the part in the middle, tape it on and it absorbs so much crap, it's unbelievable. And I also need to pick up some more salts for the bath, because I gotta have a bath like two or three times a day um, because of the wound I got. It's pretty disgusting right now, but we'll talk a little bit about more of that later. But I need to get out, I haven't driven the car in a while, so I need to take it over a good spin, make sure the battery stays charged. And um, yeah, so let's just head out and run some errands and head her back to the house and see what we can get up to. Probably some arts and crafts for the next couple weeks or so. Okay, since it's arts and crafts day, should I build a Tesla coil today? Should I build a robot arm? Actually, I think I'm going to play with this anti-gravity top first. See what that's all about. Well, today is, I guess, day four, post-surgery, still taking it easy. And I know a lot of you guys have asked, how am I gonna go camping this year with the CPAP machine and everything else with the heater? How am I gonna keep the battery charged? Well, I got a solution for that today. I picked up another project. And I know a lot of people are probably saying, holy fuck, you got enough projects on the go. I picked up a Honda 2000 watt generator and generates power, it's a little smoky. I'm gonna fire it up for you. And uh, probably gonna do a rebuild in it. It seems to run well. Once again, we won't know until we really strip it down to get to the point, but let's have a look at the generator. So this is the little Honda here. Picked it up for 275 bucks. Um, worst case scenario, new piston rings will be like $50 or so. Um, but let's get this thing fired up. It does smoke pretty bad though, you're gonna see once I fire it up. So you can see right there the smoke, definitely blowing blue. Well, I've had it running for about five, 10 minutes and it's not smoking anymore, but it sure smokes when you first fire it up. So we're gonna do some investigating, troubleshooting, you know, maybe I'll fix it, maybe I'll leave it the way it is, we'll have to see. But so far it runs good. Well, this is going to bug me unless I do it. I'm just going to pull the spark plug, which is just right down there. And we're going to do a compression test on it. Well, I don't have a tripod mount out here, but I'm just going to crank it over now and see what we read. Yes, yeah, so we got low compression again, 60 PSI, so it could be stuck rings, cylinder issues. We're going to have to uh, get the computer fired up. 
And then we'll stick the boroscope down quickly and have a look. You're not going to be able to see too well, not what I'm seeing, but once again, the cylinder doesn't look too bad, but that doesn't mean anything. What? I need to get back in the hole. What I might try doing first is, um, is putting sea foam inside and then letting it sit. I'll run down, pick up some sea foam, probably later tomorrow, and we'll fill that cylinder up and we'll let it sit for a day or two, see if it does any changes to it. Because sometimes, if an engine sits for a while, uh, especially with carbon buildup, the rings will seize. But usually, a lot of times, you have to remove the piston, anyways. But we're just going to see if we can get some sea foam in there, see if we can maybe get her to free up. If that's the case, if not, we'll rebuild it just like we're doing with the Honda pump. So, fuck, I'm going inside. It's too cold out. Well, I got out of the house today. Um, Overdid it a couple days ago and was paying for it. So I got out, ran, got some groceries, and I got a parcel today. And this is from the Jeep Video Guy. So I'm going to leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description so you guys can see it. But let's open up this package and see what he sent. 44 bucks to ship to Canada. That is disgusting. All right, this is what the Jeep Video Guy sent me. Some Euglian beers. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not exactly too sure. Says by America's oldest brewery, and I also got some military patches sent in, so let's have a look at these patches as well. All right, here's the note right here that he sent me. I've been watching videos for a long time. Notice that I've never seen you drink Euglin beer. I have traveled to a few states, east from St. Louis, to acquire this beer. Euglin, to some of my Jeepers in my area, is considered the nectar of the gods. I hope you enjoy the package. Jeep video guy is also... Uh, U.S. Army veteran because one patch he sent me this one right here is the patch I wore in 2007 when I was in Iraq. U.S. Air Forces in Europe is the Air Force Command patch for Europe. This one right here and Statue de la Libertad, I don't know how you pronounce that, was the base patch at RAF in Great Britain when I was stationed. So. Yeah, that's pretty darn cool. Much respect to the people who serve in the armed forces. My younger brother actually did uh, two tours of duty in Yugoslavia and two tours of duty in Afghanistan. So, plus some other UN missions throughout the years. But those were his four so-called um, war tours, so to speak. Well, I'm gonna raise this, because we're done with this for right now and we've already gone over that. These are some of the things I picked up for the generator. This is the 12 volt charging cord, which I'm going to use when I'm out camping to keep my battery charged. I got some sea foam because we're going to put some sea foam in the tank. We're also going to put some sea foam in the cylinder afterwards. And this oil filter is for my other generator since I was at Honda. I might as well pick up a filter because I got to change oil not sometime in the near future. Yeah, so I'm not ready to come outside the garage. But I just got one little small project to do. We'll won't even take an hour, so I'm going to do that and kick back and relax on the couch for the rest of the day. So one of the first things we're going to do is dump a shitload of sea foam in there. You're not going to be able to see, but I got a good amount of sea foam in the cylinder. If the rings are stuck, we'll let it sit for a few days and we'll fire it up again. All right, it's motherfucking beer time. Now I'm going to end the video here. It, it has been a week since I've had surgery and you know the healing's kind of so so some days i'm good some days i'm not good and fuck i probably go through about three or more maxi pads a day because of the drainage gauze just does not work well to clean up fucking like whatever it is that's coming out of your body you know i know it's embarrassing and it's you know some people are probably laughing because i'm talking about it but fucking maxi pads using them as a fucking bandage is the best thing because i got a wound that's probably about that long, probably about an inch wide, and probably about an inch deep that has to stay open to heal properly. So there's a lot of crap coming out. I had a drain inserted for a little while, and my body pushed the drain out. The surgeon said the drain usually comes out within a few days, but mine came out like after like five, so everything still seems to be good. I just It's a lot of work to try to keep it clean and you know i gotta have a bath like two to three times a day and it's it's a lot of work so i am starting to get out a little bit more i was just laying around the house and i found out you know it's actually making the wound almost worse 
and I've been out and about a bunch of times today and I haven't taken my codeine pills and I haven't um, really experienced too much pain since I've been moving. Also just laying around your body just seems to get so stiff and sore so every day I'm just going to get out a little bit. I'm going to start walking around a little bit. But anyways it's motherfucking beer time. This is week one after I've had surgery so I'm just going to fucking drink this beer. We're going to go inside and that's going to be the end of the video. I've already got some things on the go for the next video. So, hopefully in a week or two things will catch up. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.